Hey everyone, it's Connor from Coifin. Today I want to talk about Fibonacci and how we've improved that inside of Coifin. Previously, we had Fibonacci retracement lines inside of Coifin charts, which you could access down here in the annotations menu. And these levels help traders identify potential support and resistance areas where the price of the security might reverse again and continue in the direction of the prevailing trend. So many of you asked us to support Fibonacci extensions which is just a tool to project the potential price levels beyond the standard retracement levels and give some indication as to where the price might extend to after surpassing the previous higher low. We also made a few other customization updates as well, so I'll demonstrate those for you today. So to demonstrate this, I'll go to the Fibonacci in the annotations window here and select that and then just drag this across the chart. And you'll notice a few new things here. Number one, we've added the Fibonacci extensions and number two, we've added a trend line here as well on the retracement levels. If you click on the Fibonacci annotation as well, you'll notice a few other new things. So you've always been able to fill these lines here and change the colors. This will also change the support line as well. But now if I click values, which is a new tab here in the annotation, you're going to be able to show and hide specific lines. So if I wanted to, for example, remove all of the extension lines, I can do so. Alternatively, if I want to keep those lines in there, but make some distinction between the retracement and extensions, I can color code each individual line like so. And when you have these colors selected, you can also train, change the color of the trend line as well, which goes by this color block here. So I can change that to orange if I wanted to. And lastly, now you can also edit the levels themselves. So you may want to show and hide various levels, but you may also want to come in here and add your own unique levels. And these will be calculated in the chart directly and give you some more customization as to how you use these Fibonacci lines. If you take the time to set up this preferred view in the Fibonacci sequence, these are saved when you're traveling around Coifin. So if I go ahead and change the security to, to NVIDIA, for example, when I come back to add Fibonacci lines to this other security, it's going to save all of my preferences there. And at any point, if you get a bit lost or you want to go back to how things were initially, you can come open the values section here and you can reset these back to factory settings. So that just about does it. I just wanted to highlight some of those updates that we've made. I think we've improved the Fibonacci use case inside of Coifin a lot. I'm sure many of you will have some feedback as how you'd like us to improve it further. So as always, drop a comment in the comment section below. Our help desk is help at coifin.com and we're at Coifin Charts over on Twitter. Alternatively, if you want to make a feature request, we do have this feedback board here in Coifin, which you can select, go to feature requests and then make an entry. Until next time, thank you.